received a question from one of my viewers about black and white photography. I thought I'd make a video response because the topic sort of fits in with our recent conversations on post-processing. The question is basically, how do I feel about black and white photography? This viewer mentions black and white as a photographer's main medium and just in general. She mentioned that half of her art photography ends up black and white even though she's using a DSLR with all kinds of technology to make the colors beautiful, or at least accurate. She wonders if we're kind of moving backward in a sense, at least where art photography is concerned. She also wonders about my opinion on toned black and white images, where you put a color tone on a black and white image in post-processing, like sepia. First, my opinion on black and white images is, they're great. <laughs> Whether truly grayscale or toned, I think they can be striking. I think a black and white image can convey the same amount of emotion as a color photo. It just depends on the photo. It is interesting that this viewer mentions going back to black and white. It's true, one might think that we would have abandoned the medium long ago with all the advances in color photography. However, as a student of art, I know that art is rarely completely original. Artists throughout history have looked back at something else for inspiration or for education. I don't think there's anything wrong with bringing back some of the old if that's what you're into. Everyone has their own style, everyone has their own opinion. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? Well, let me tell you. All this talk about post-processing, what it used to mean with film, as it is now with marketing campaigns, Man, it has made me think. It has truly made me examine my opinion on the subject. Before, I would just kind of turn up my nose at super processed images. And now I'm thinking, gosh, what about it really bothers me and why? Does it bother me in every situation? Because I'm all about progress and doing your own thing. In the end, I think for me, I love nothing more than to catch a beautiful image right out of my camera. But you know what else? I take great joy in working certain images in my photo editing software. It's probably the exception rather than the rule for me to spend copious amounts of time in post-processing. Just depends on the image and on the situation and definitely on my mood. I think I figured out what bothers me about the super post-processing. I think what bothers me is when people think that they're going to be able to copy an image that they see in a magazine just by buying expensive equipment. It makes me a little sad because they're never going to be able to obtain the results they're looking at without some serious time at the computer. I hate to think that someone would get discouraged with the art of photography just because of that. And that's what bothers me, the thought that someone might get discouraged and give up because they can't get a photo right out of the camera that looks like an ad. It's kind of cheesy, but it's true. So anyway, thanks to everyone who has been participating in the discussions. I definitely feel like I've developed a little as an artist. Oh, and this viewer's questions on black and white have made me inspired to do an all black and white shoot. So I shot the photos in color and I have used Aperture to make them a range of black and white. The photos are up on snapcheck.com now. Of course, a few examples for everyone and more for VIPs. Thanks.